point of information. If you are using a microphone, talk into it directly like I am right now, and do not wave your face back and forth because people cannot hear you. That is all. Okay. Right, right uh, quick point of privilege. Quick point um, of personal privilege. Yes. Um, guys, uh, first of all, James Jackson, Sacramento, he, him. I just want to say, can we please keep the chatter to a minimum? I'm one of the people who's very, very prone to sensory overload. There's a lot of whispering and chatter going on. It's making it very difficult for me to focus. Please, can we just, I know it's, we're all fresh and ready to go, but can we please just keep the chatter to a minimum? It's affecting my ability to focus. Thank you. Point of personal privilege. Yes. Please do not use gendered language to, to address everyone. Wow. The Democratic Socialist Convention. This is very disturbing video, man. This looked like a scene out of South Park. I had no idea this moronic organization <laughs> even existed. That's why, I that's why I love capitalism, man. I ain't got to deal with these fools. Can you imagine putting these people at a Fortune 500 company? That company would go out of business within 30 days. Okay, the first guy, he's talking about, can y'all keep it down? <laughs> All this damn clattering and breathing <laughs> and whispering and this is it's it's setting off my anxiety and y'all need to y'all need to keep it down you know what he sounds like you know everybody when you move into that apartment you always got that one crazy neighbor that keeps knocking on your door hey keep it down and out it's like i'm sleeping <laughs> that's him man could you imagine if you were sitting beside him at this uh convention and you were like He'd be like, get the fuck out my ear! <laughs> and dude is dangerous, man. Anything can set this man off. And then the next one, I think this was um uh, transgender, right? I'm pretty sure that's transgender. <laughs> I'm pretty and you know I'm pretty positive that was a transgender. Yeah, um when he said his uh, the first guy said his pronouns and <laughs> it set him off. <laughs> it set him off and how he was addressing each other with you know, gender uh, terminology and set them off. It's like, wait a minute. I don't want to hear no damn gender language in this place. You know what would be funny? If you take that transgender and the first guy, Zim her and, and keep the nose down, put them in a jail cell together for three hours. Somebody's going to die. <laughs> Somebody's either going to die or get seriously hurt. And you can't even clap in this place? That would set me off. That would trigger me. I will go ape crazy in there, man. You that people is... are so sensitive, you can't even do that in fear of somebody pulling out a knife and stabbing you. <laughs> <laughs> Look here. Now, this is a hashtag I always see on Twitter, Instagram. It's um, liberalism is a mental disorder. I don't think that's correct. This is what's going on here, people. <laughs> I think... Uh, the Democrats' ideologies. Yeah, socially. I, yeah, I think they attract mentally disabled people. Yeah, that's, that's, what, that's what's going on. Because their ideologies, it creates victims. They yeah. break you up into different groups. Yeah. Tell you how you're never going to be anything because of your sex, your race. Tell you how to think, what to do, what not to do. They put every regulation they can on you and your, the way you think, how you live your life. Yeah. Socialism is not the answer. It's killed over, what, 100 million people in yeah, the last 100 years? That political economic system of socialism over the past century, hundreds of millions of deaths are attributable to that socialism crap. Yeah. Now, capitalism, that political economic system has brought people out of poverty. We got the most powerful economy in the world. Everybody wants to be in America. Everybody wants to be us. That's Everybody's right. coming here. Everybody wants to live here. Yeah, and y'all want to go to a political economic system that these people are fleeing from. Yeah, they're fleeing socialism. Yeah, and y'all in this room together, and y'all are just trying to out-victim each other. <laughs> I mean, it, how unproductive was this meeting? If I was interested in socialism and I saw this video, I was like, nah, I don't want no part of that foolishness. Y'all trying to reinvent the wheel. Yeah, the wheel is already, the wheel is fine. Well, you gonna come out with a square? No. <laughs> That's what they gonna do. They gonna take all the automobiles, take the wheels off and put squares on them. <laughs> they probably would do that. <laughs> <laughs> probably, they would, man. I'm telling everybody, do not become complacent. Yeah. 
This is what the Democrats want to do. Man. Yeah, this is the direction they're going. AOC and, and uh, the squad is a member of this. Mem AOC right? and members of the squad, they, they are associated with this group. Bernie Sanders, Elizabeth Warren, this is what they want for America. If you continue to sit back and say it doesn't matter who gets elected president, that cannot be farther from the truth. These people are dangerous. <laughs> These people are going to ruin this country. They want to open our borders. They want to switch our, econ our political economic system to socialism. That's what they want to do. Now, I'm not saying conservatives, Republicans, the right is perfect. Yeah. But I will tell you this. At least they're not fucking insane. The <laughs> they don't have to be. <laughs> they don't have to be perfect, man. Everybody on the left is batshit crazy. Complete lunacy. <laughs> insane. Yeah.